Hey everybody, this is Jared Morris from Copyblogger here, and today I am going to show you how to create category landing pages in WordPress, and also how to make the URLs pretty too. And to do this, I'm going to use uh, one of my sites, a little side project I have called The Assembly Call. It's a post-game show for IU basketball fans. Um, and so what we want to do here is the category archive page, right? So when you categorize a post a certain way, you can go to the category page and it will show you all of the different posts that have been categorized as such. Well, this is the category page for our interview series. And right now we have two of them in here. So if you go to this category slash interviews, you'll get each of these posts. You can click into it and look at the individual post, right? But inside of WordPress, there are ways to make these category archive page look much better and look like a, a landing page. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go to the dashboard. And the first thing that we wanna do is go over here to posts categories. And this is going to list out all of the different categories that you have. We are working with the interviews category. And so I'm going to go right here. I'm going to click edit. And this is going to bring up a whole bunch of different options. And so I actually want the name of the series to be IU interview series. That's how we refer to it on the site. We'll keep the slug right there as interviews. This is what would actually change the part of the URL right here. We will leave that as is. Now, there are also different SEO settings that you can add to it as well if you want to. We're not going to worry about those today, um, but you can do those. What we want to focus on is the category archive settings, okay? And so I'm going to put in the same headline here, IU interview series, and then it allows you to put in some intro text. And so I have actually created some text over here in a text editor, and I'm going to paste this in. Okay, and one nice thing with the most updated versions of WordPress is you can actually now include HTML in this area. Before you couldn't, now you are able to. And so I actually have an image in here, I've got a link, some different things, and you'll see how that will look. Okay, so let's go down here, let's click update, and let's go back to our category archive, archive page. Again, this is what it looked like before, let's reload it. And now you can see that I actually have a nice heading here with the title, IU Interview Series. I have a description that tells them that this, you know, what, what this is about, what the interview series is, is about, what they can expect to find, which is, again, all the public interviews. And then because we actually have some interviews that are subscriber only, I have a call to action here that reminds people to click to sign up for the email list because you can include a link. And then, of course, here's the image that I've included right here. Um, and I, can, I will post uh, this code because you can take this code and use it as kind of a template for yourself, but you just do a simple div float, um, put the image in there, whatever size you want it to be. Um, you can do that just with this code right here. And then voila, it's gonna look just like this, okay? Now the only thing that I'm not necessarily, that I don't love about this page is that we have this category uh, uh, part in here in the URL. And that's just standard WordPress. They always are going to include that category part in the URL. So how do you get rid of that? Well, it's actually much easier than I thought it was. I thought I was going to have to go do some complicated rewrites, that kind of thing. No, all you have to do is install the WordPress SEO plugin by our buddy Yoast, and then go in here to the permalink setting or the permalinks page. And within this page, there's a setting that allows you to strip the category base from the URL. So check that, hit save changes, and now if we go back here and if we reload it, as you can see, now it's much prettier. And we just have the interview slug, and that's it. So it makes for a nice, pretty URL that you can post on Twitter, that you can put an email, and just tell people, hey, go to assemblycall.com slash interviews. That's the landing page. Okay? So again, it's that simple. Just use the built-in options inside of WordPress, and you can create really nice category landing pages just right in here. And again, if you want to you know, do some different things for the SEO settings, you can do that. But it's as simple as just going in here to the category archive settings, giving it a headline, giving it some intro text, putting whatever links and images you want, and you are all set. Now, the only other thing to remember is that uh, the way that the individual posts look on your archive page are the same way that they're going to look on your homepage blog feed, right? So if you want to change this, if you want to make it different, um, certainly you can. Uh, it'll be a little more complicated going in there and, and, and doing some things with the code. But you can rest assured that on your archive pages, it'll look exactly as, as uh, the posts will appear exactly as they do on the main blog feed itself. Okay, perfect. If you have any questions, jared at copyblogger.com. Email me. Be happy to answer them. Uh, otherwise, everybody go out and create yourself some spiffy-looking category archive pages. 
category landing pages, I should say. <laughs> All right, everybody, talk to you soon.